Hi guys, it's Nick here from Hidden Valley Bushcraft and today I'm going to be talking to you about my everyday carry tarpaulin or my tarp option that I take with me everywhere and this is my individual choice to carry this thing. It just jumps from bag to bag. You can see at the moment I'm going up quite a climb as I head up through this track. Just look at all these amazing lumps of limestone. You can see why they call it the limestone link. This has been, it's been heavily mined up here. Oh wow, look how old this dry stone wall is. And in fact, this is exactly the sort of place, okay, that I would be looking. Perfect. It's exactly the sort of place that I'd be looking to take a bit of shelter if the weather came in really hard. I'd choose whichever side of this wall the weather was worst. And I'd go the other side and deploy my EDC tarp. Let's go with that. So maybe something like from here to there and then have it kind of tapered one side so you've got the rock face on one side and the uh, tarp on the other. We'll see how that pans out. one of the first things I need to be able to get to in the top of my bag. So I have my coat, I've got my jumper, and my readily deployable everyday carry tarp, which is actually, for those of you who've seen my EDC, what I carry every day, okay, for bushcraft and the outdoors, my EDC backpack video, you'll have seen me make reference to this, but of course I didn't actually get it out and show you. It is an American Helicon, poncho. So of course I could, I could just go ahead and get inside this thing, pull everything else underneath, uh, let, the, let the rain carry on and life's good. Or more often than not, I'll take the time to just take this piece of the hood here, scrunch that right down. Okay, tie the hood off with itself and go ahead and deploy it like a regular tarpaulin. It's got a fair size to it. The only thing with this is you don't generally get to run a ridge line down the middle unless you've brought some cordage with you, but you can go ahead and obviously use these eyelets and put on all these lovely little pieces of paracord. Just makes your life a lot easier when you come to use this thing. So it's the same, uh, same sketch as always. You try to put things away so that you can readily deploy them without any knots or any hindrances. I'm actually probably gonna want this over here somewhere. Exactly as predicted, that wind is now picking up. So just to explain what I'm doing guys, I'm not bothering to put anything too uh, too uh, intricate or too too tightly bound on here because this, this is just a stop off. If it happens to rain while I'm having a quick drink underneath then life's good. Uh, if not, I'm just going to scrunch it back down. It's going back on my back and we're going to carry on. I'm just using the shelter one side of this stone wall and then I'm going to be tucked in inside here getting myself a drink. And all I'm doing now is just bringing the tarpaulin out so that I've got a little bit of room to work under here and keeping a nice steep pitch so that uh, while I'm making my, uh, my hot drink, I'm not getting disturbed by the rain. Should be able to just pull this whole thing out without any thumb knots. Okay, that is good to go. It's just gonna be a really quick and simple uh, event. So it's gonna go under here Check out our uh, video on knots if, um, if you want to know how to tie this stuff or if, uh, if me doing this real time isn't quite enough for you you want to look at it again and really learn the skill, check out the video on knots. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and 
put something in the middle there or maybe just down here because of course I should have on me always yes a spare shoelace there we go through there okay so that's going to bite down on there now that's that on there I could bring this out well, there's not an awful lot to tie to. I'll find something, even if it's a, a dead piece of wood or one of these bits of rock. And that should give me the space I need up underneath there. Perfect. And there we have it, bit rough and ready. There's enough room for me to get in here. There we go. And make myself a nice hot drink. Oh, the zip is starting to go on the bag, I've just noticed. Uh-oh. Guys, if you can think of a replacement for my uh, my little everyday bag, drop us a uh, comment in the box below and let us know what you think I should be using. I'd like to hear your opinions. Some of you are very knowledgeable. Okay, so here should be... Simple pocket rocket setup, gas burner, and then the standard Nalgene bottle inside a Stanley nesting cup. There we go. And of course, it'd be useless without a lighter. I'm just going to do this off to one side because that actually looks like a nice flat little area. So all I've done now is just lifted one corner and then folded it over. So I can sit here in the open and uh, cook my food and do what I need to. If it really badly rains, I could just slip underneath. Um, but I've, I've got the best of both now. And uh, thanks to this little simple everyday carry poncho, tarp, whatever you want to call it, it just makes life so much easier. It's probably worth mentioning as well, I do actually carry some other bits and pieces so that if I do end up finding myself in a situation where I am completely on my tod, you'll see in here, things come in handy. I mean, that's actually one of those readily deployable, super light raincoats. I don't even know how that's got in here. That's a very recent addition. Something everyone should really be carrying is these bright orange survival bags. Okay, so you can just climb inside that. That's not a bad shout to have, as is having obviously a Milbank bag for water purification, but uh, yeah, your space foil. Another really important one, reflects body heat. So having those two together, along with a tarpaulin of some sort, you know, it's not like your A-grade gear, but it's uh, it's enough that you could, if you, with a bit of knowledge, that weighs nothing, you can go a long way. What have I got here? That's a needle kit. I'm pretty sure that's a needle kit. Yep, needles and thread for repairing things, because when you're out on the trail, and you split your trousers open, that's not funny. You're gonna lose a lot of heat and uh, could be quite embarrassing. So yeah, stitching things up. The ability to be able to stitch things up on the move is quite handy. That's pretty much it in terms of shelter uh, in this little bag. So yeah, it's a uh, it's a survival bag. It's a, a space foil uh, sheet and it's a American poncho. And that basically gets me through my day to day, unless I'm going on a specific uh, expedition or a specific job, or I'm taking a client on a micro adventure, uh, in which case I'm, I'm a little bit better prepared. I might take something like a, a DD XL tarp, something much larger, and I can make a fully enclosed uh, tent if I need to, uh, or I could do a range of different things with that. That water is good and hot. Now, I could have myself a coffee, I could have myself uh, any number of diuretics, a, a cup of tea, etc. while I'm up here. But I've actually been sweating an awful lot and, um, and that thunderstorm is coming. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna replace some of those salts of sorts. <laughs> and I'm gonna tip some of my, my trusty uh, top secret go anywhere seasoning, um, the good old fashioned aromat. I'm gonna tip that into the water there and I'm gonna drink that. And that's going to uh, hopefully replenish me somewhat Get some of that in there. You don't need to go crazy with this stuff. And then, and that already smells 
beautiful. I can smell onions and garlic and all kinds of nice stock flavours coming out of there. Let's go a bit more. That is hot, but that is good. I'm going to enjoy that. Now comes the best part. When you've taken the time out, you've deployed your little tarpaulin, you've got a nice drink on the go. The world stops and you just get to take everything in. So things I like about this tarp. One of the big, my big attractions for me is the fact that it's ripstop. Can you see all these kind of crisscross lines in here? Okay, if you do get a snag or it rips or tears somewhere, it's not gonna go too far. It has that, that the ability to stop on one of these little junctions. It's pretty, pretty good feature. Um, another great feature about this tarp is the fact that it has, let me just pull this one out. Okay, another great feature about this tarp is the fact that Obviously I can turn it into a poncho and stick that straight over my head. It has more than enough coverage for me to lay down and sleep underneath. And I have done that before. It has decent quality pressed brass eyelets that are kind of tactically, they've been blackened, but uh, they're, they're still good quality nonetheless. Yeah, what have you got here? You got three, six, seven, eight. So you've got like a good eight fixing points on this thing. And it is entirely possible as well sometimes to put a bungee or something up underneath there and to pin that out as well. It is possible using these eyelets here to clip one or more of these together. So you can see on this side, these are all male and on this side, they're actually female. So you have females one side and then a bright eyelet, males the other. So you can actually clip one or more of these together. It's not something I've personally done. Being that this is an American piece of equipment, if any of you guys across the pond are watching this, please talk, tell us about your experiences of clipping many of these together maybe and turning, turning it into some kind of the tent city. Maybe you've had a good time and you, you and your buddies have been able to attach several of these together and make one massive tarpaulin and sleep under it. That'd be good to hear about, so let, let us know. I'm gonna go ahead and pack this down now and then it's gonna go back into my bag and we're gonna head on. So one thing that's always really important for me is to make it easy to uh, redeploy again. So whichever, whatever knot system or whatever I've used to tie this up, I'm always gonna put it away in the same way. Oh dear, I don't like the end of that. Oh, that's shocking. Hang on a minute. See if we can do something for that. It's got a bit frayed. This of course is the quick and easy option. I've made reference to this before. You can go ahead and whip stitch the ends, which is something that uh, you'd find on other channels. Now I'm gonna lay this out. So my hand is open like this, and I'm gonna bring the cordage around the back. And it's gonna go across my thumb and past my little finger. I'm right-handed, okay? Now, the actual main piece is gonna go around my thumb. This is the starting picture. This is what you should have. Okay, so a piece coming around your thumb and laying down there like that. It's very important. And now we're gonna go in and round and in and round and in and round and in until we're kind of a good foot from the bottom. I'm gonna take this off, like so. I'm gonna go around the middle a whole bunch of times. And then just before I get near the very end, I'm just gonna put, put a twist in and I'm gonna pop that through. And that's all I'm doing, guys. And it just means, if, uh, if I have done this on a few other videos, it just means that when, when it comes to deploy, okay, it looks like this. All you gotta do is pull this cord here, and everything comes out. Really simple in one straight piece. There's no thumb knots in there. Okay, so in, far, in real time. And of course, once you've kind of got this skill weighed off, it becomes quite quick and easy. So I'm gonna go around, go ahead and do this to all the corners and then fold the whole thing up, scrunch it back into the stuff sack. The reason I don't fold it is because I don't want to create weakness by folding it many, many times in exactly the same points the kind of stuff and crush method works well for me. And uh, again, oh, that rock, that rock looks a bit uh, treacherous. I think I need to put the camera down. <laughs> Having a super readily deployable tarp like that just gives you that extra confidence. I mean, of course, I've got a jacket. Okay, I could just put my hood up. But if you're gonna have to stay or go firm 
or if the, the rain is really coming in hard and it's not going away, you've got to try and do something about that. So to increase your longevity and your ability to operate in the outdoors, having something which is a lovely hybrid between being a kind of jacket or a poncho, but also an effective tarpaulin, I feel is a good idea. Let me know what systems you guys are using at home. I'd love to hear about it. What's not to like? I can even then go and clip. Clip the sides together on both sides and I've got something I can still carry on going with. So guys, I'm Nick Goldsmith from Hidden Valley Bushcraft and if you like what you've seen today, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and share this with anyone else you feel this would be applicable and useful too. Thanks for watching, bye for now.